Hello, Bokeh Canyon Church family. I wanted to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving this week and God's blessing on you and your families. And I also wanted to say, stay safe. And this is a little bit different message than maybe you've heard from me. But the reality is that we have these coronavirus uh, cases spiking. And I just want to talk about that for a few minutes because some say it doesn't matter, very few uh, get seriously ill, very, very few die, and especially the young and healthy, and we're way overreacting. And I think there has probably been a lot of overreaction to this virus. But uh, here's some things that I wanted to share. We are heading into winter. We're heading into cold and dry weather. And that tends to be what helps viruses thrive. Uh, for example, the flu season always is through the winter in the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere. It, it's in the winter months. Why is that? Why does the flu season for us peak between December and February? I'm not a medical expert, but I have done some research and, and here are several reasons. Number one, in the winter the days are shorter and colder. And this means that people tend to, to get less sunshine. They stay indoors more, they cover up more, and this means less vitamin D and less melatonin um, produced in them. And that weakens the immune system, which decreases our ability to fight off viruses as effectively. Plus, whenever we are outside in the winter months, we tend to be covered up more, getting less sun, and then the sun's rays themselves are indirect. They're coming in at an angle, which makes it more difficult for our skin to absorb those rays and produce the vitamin D that we need. Uh, second reason, viruses thrive in winter more. Uh, winter means more time shut up indoors with closed windows, and that means less fresh air and breathing more of the same air as others who might be infected. Uh, third, viruses tend to survive better in colder, drier climates. The cold air of winter can't hold moisture, so the air gets really dry, which is why your hands get dry and you need more lotion in the winter. It's why more static electricity if you rub your socks on the carpet in your home in winter. Uh, well, t it also helps viruses for survive better for some reason, and, and so that is an issue. And then fourthly, this might be the biggest one, viruses tend to stay aloft longer in dry air. This is because when a virus is exhaled on an infected person's breath, it's encased in water droplets, you know, little water droplets in the breath vapor with vi the virus inside. Well, in dry air, those droplets evaporate very quickly, leaving a very much smaller particle. Now when it's a larger particle, it falls to the ground quickly, but in dry air, it evaporates, it's lighter, and it stays floating around in the air much, much longer. And so that makes it obviously much more likely to catch the virus if it's not just falling to the ground. Now, these are trends that has, have been seen with the flu virus, and there's been a question, is that true with coronavirus? And it seems to me looking at the spikes that we're seeing now, that yes, it is tracking with what would happen in a flu season. It is getting worse as we head into winter. The numbers are really spiking, and this is why I wanted to share this with you. Uh, I care about you. I want everyone to stay safe, and we had over 18,000. I saw a report that said over 20,000 new cases yesterday in California. That is way more than we've ever had in one day. And also over 6,000 new cases in LA County. And that the, the more people around that have the virus, the more likely you are to bump into them and, and maybe get it yourself. And so I do think this is only going to get worse as we head into winter and until of course a, a vaccine is distributed. Now, many have celebrated the churches that have continued meeting indoors during this time, and I praise God that there have not been some really bad outbreaks that I know of in those few churches that have been meeting indoors. But I am concerned that the cold, dry air and other factors I've talked about, it really could become an issue because 
even if you have the heater on indoors, like in a sanctuary, the air is still dry in winter and that's an ideal situation for the virus to spread. So I am encouraging you and your family to not let your guard down. I'm not saying that out of fear. I don't think we should live in fear as Christians, but we should use wisdom. And I do believe that we will most likely see this virus weaken and fizzle out in 2021 as vaccines are distributed. Um, I do believe there's light at the end of the tunnel, but in the meantime, we should avoid getting this thing. And But here's a question that I've heard from people. Why should we care? Why should we avoid getting this thing? Because it's not really that deadly for most people. Well, here are a few reasons why not to get the virus. Uh, one, we don't know all of the long-term effects of this virus, and it's best to not get it since we know so little. And there are reports of people experiencing some mental issues, like 20% of survivors uh, having s depression and uh, other issues, nothing too serious, but, but we don't know a lot about this virus. Then also, even if you're young and healthy, uh, you don't want to get this virus and then pass it on to other people who mo may be more vulnerable than you are. That would be irresponsible and not acting in love to be careless about that. But I believe that happens a lot. And I've seen convincing research that estimates that there are about three and a half times as many actual cases as positive tests. Uh, what I mean by that is that let's say in the US on one day there are 200,000 new cases. The real number of new cases is probably three and a half times that, more than 700,000 people instead of 200,000. Why? Many of those people don't get tested. They, they don't have symptoms. They're asymptomatic, but they can still spread the virus. And it's now believed that over half, uh, half of the uh, you know, spreading of the virus is from people who are asymptomatic. And, and so out of love for others, to protect their lives and well-being, do your best to avoid getting this, even if you're not high risk yourself. And just a little bit of advice. I know we're deep into this thing, but I encourage you, get outside even in the winter months and try to get some sunshine. Go on walks and uncover your arms and, and try to get some, some sun. Eat vitamin D rich foods, take vitamin D supplements. And then I saw this uh, humidifiers. I always thought humidifiers were just if you do get sick to you know help get over it but it actually when there's moisture in the room again those viruses tend to fall to the ground quickly and become inert so so if you have a room in your house where where people gather that have been in various places outdoors it, to have a humidifier get some some you know moisture in your home or if you're in an office if you're working and you're around some other people, get some moisture in there. It's just a thought. And most of all, trust the Lord. Um, none of this, as I said, is out of fear. Just being pract practical. God is with us. We're getting through it. And I just want our church family to be safe. Uh, again, happy Thanksgiving. Love you all. And see you real soon. Bye.